Hi, I'm Dr. Steinauer. Let's talk about double vision. Now, first, before we hop into discussing that topic today, I want to tell you how to connect with us. If you're local to us, give us a call at 618-288-1489. If you're not local, you can still connect with us. Go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com, and you have two options. You can either fill out a questionnaire or click schedule a consultation button. Now, that's kind of reserved for you're ready to go, you know that you need help with your visual condition, and um, you really want to have that consultation time. All right, so let's go back to talking about double vision. I, I want to kind of break down some details of it today for you. I want to show you what it looks like and also talk a little bit about like what can it be caused from. Um, so let's just hop right into it. I have this gorgeous picture that sits on my desk and it is probably one of my favorites. I tend to like a lot of really interesting types of artwork, but this is um, and it's not always the same, but this is one of my favorites and it sits on my desk to look at each day. Now, in order to experience what double vision is like, I actually just ran a quick photocopy on the photocopy machine just to be able to show what that would be like. So let's talk about double vision. Now, double vision can exist and look like this to where you have an overlapping image that's up and down or an overlapping image that is side to side like this. Now, sometimes the double vision can overlap a little bit, okay, like this, or you may have an overlap of a lot, even completely separate objects like this or like this. All right, now there are times that another form of double vision can exist, which is going to be at an angle, Right, so realize it can be at either or any angle, actually. Like I said, I won't show you all of those poses or positions, right? But um, so double vision can be very distracting when it happens. The other thing that can exist with double vision is movement. So you may experience movement of one of the images that you're looking at. Okay, you also may experience like a fogging or a hazing of that. Now, that one is a little bit more tricky to show you. I'm just trying to look and see if I have anything that can help me out with this. Let's see if I have any kind of tool here that will help. Let's get inventive. I'm going to try this for just a minute. Hang with me. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right. So, imagine if your double image had kind of this frosty type of appearance to it, okay? That's about as good as I can get right now. <laughs> All right, too many things to hold on to and handle to show you that one. All right, but double vision obviously can be super distracting, especially if it's moving around, if it's changing throughout the day on you. What if you're trying to read and you're seeing this as a child? What if you're trying to drive or walk or go up and down the steps as an adult and you're getting something like this happening. Clearly, that would be not only annoying, but also could be potentially dangerous. Now, what are some causes of double vision? Well, we might see double vision in some sicknesses or illnesses. For instance, um, something like um, Parkinson's disease. Um, MS or myasthenia gravis, those are some conditions that will tend to cause a strabismus or an eye turn and person could experience double vision. So in general, strabismus can also cause um, double vision. Um, some other things would be like a stroke or maybe even a precursor to having a stroke. Um, high blood pressure is another one that, you know, prior to having um, a stroke or having maybe a significantly high increased um, level of high blood pressure or blood sugar, you could potentially see things like double vision. There would be other things involved there, but it doesn't affect your vision. Um, Try to think of other instances. I think those are probably some of the big ones. Um, you could also experience double vision if you had a brain tumor. So, or if there's some sort of brain trauma, so traumatic brain injury, but you can also have, or concussion, but you can also have double vision for a simplistic reason. The two eyes not wanting to team together like convergence insufficiency or a general binocular vision or two-eyed 
dysfunctional system. So you can see there are actually lots of reasons for double vision. Now these all make the assumption that we've got two eyes not necessarily syncing up information and that's the reason why the double vision is existing. But you can also have double vision if you close an eye and for just one eye there are a few causes of double vision for what we would call monocular double vision. And those would be instances of maybe a lens prescription, a cataract, something kind of incorrect with the um, with the eye itself in terms of either structure or um, a disease process that's going on that could potentially cause like a monocular double vision. So lots of root causes and it's not something that you want to ignore. So if you or your child has that, you definitely want to dig into it, particularly because there are some instances of, you know, some things that need to be looked at as far as for health concerns and for your safety to make sure that, that there's nothing going on that's more significant. So definitely don't overlook, don't play it off, don't brush it aside or sweep it under the rug for periods of time. If you have double vision, make sure that you go have that tested. Your first thing is, is that if you're not feeling well, if your body's feeling off, like you are, you know, something's just not quite right, then you need to go to like your general doctor. But if it's just something like you're feeling fine, but it's just with your eyes and it's annoying and bothersome, then you want to probably start with an eye doctor who can assess and figure out what's going on with you. And if they feel like there's something systemically or body-wise going on, you know, health-wise, maybe they even uncover something, they're going to refer you to your general doctor. Now, in some instances, it goes farther down the line, it might be like a neurologist that you are um, needing to, you know, go to see. So those things are going to typically be found out by a general doctor, like your general practitioner or a general eye doctor that you would go to. If they kind of have further concerns, they may send you down a little bit farther down the specialty line to, say, like a neurologist. Now, what do you do about double vision? Well, obviously it's varied because it depends upon whether it's monocular or with both eyes and it depends on the diagnosis as you can see there's tons of different reasons why double vision can exist and why you don't want to ignore it and you also want to make sure that you get treated for any of those conditions that could be causing it but at the end when we're talking about okay everything's ruled out there's nothing seriously wrong we know the double vision is coming from two eyes but you know it's not an ongoing active problem that could cause you any you know bodily harm or um, anything that would further cause you to have, you know, difficulties like an uncontrolled blood pressure or something. If we know it's coming from vision and now it's like, okay, well, you've got strabismus and that's what's causing it, or you have a convergence insufficiency, well, then that can be treated. Now, I know this is getting into a lengthy video, so you're either with me or you're not with me and that's okay. <laughs> but um, there are a couple ways that we treat it within our clinic. Okay, so one of the methods of um, working through double vision with our patients is to use syntonic light therapy and then retrain the brain to align and use the two eyes better together as a team with kind of the more mechanical, there's kind of two phases to our program. There's phase one, which is syntonics, and then phase two, which is a little bit more of a mechanical phase or working with trying to get the brain and the eyes to work together as a unit. So now, this video packed a lot of information in it. I hope it was a good one. If you feel like it's worthy of passing on, pass it to someone who could benefit. Remember, you can contact our office if you're local, 618-288-1489. If you've got problems with you know, double vision, you want to find out a little bit more, and you've, you've gone down the pipeline of figuring out that it's not anything really to worry about, but it's bothersome and you need it fixed, contact us. If you are not local, you can go to our website at visionforlifeworks.com and um, from there what we want to do is one of two options. You can either fill out the questionnaire or you can click on the schedule a consult button. Now last things last, don't forget to like and like the video and subscribe all by clicking that bell icon all so that you get notifications for all of our videos. Thank you.